Ukraine is the key largest country in the Europe, which is wedged between Russia and Europe. It was part of the Soviet Union until 1991, and since then has been an imperfect democracy with a very weak economy and foreign policy. They tremble between pro-Russian and pro-European. Before explaining the Ukraine crisis, it's crucial to know about the history of Ukraine. Ukraine and its ancient capital, Kyiv, were the foundation of ethnic Slavs. On the boundary of Europe, the shared folklore of both Russia and Ukraine is one of ancient nation. It has been a power struggle ever since. Soviet dictator Stalin presided over the Holodomor or death by hunger in which millions succumbed to death as part of farm collectivization. Including in Ukraine, the state was a battlefield under the Nazi invasion of the Soviet Union and saw some of the worst dreadfulness of the Holocaust. The downfall of the Soviet Union in 1991 led almost shortly to Ukrainian independence and its rejections of nuclear weapons, Ukraine shifted towards closer ties with Western Europe and NATO. But Russia under Putin thwarted the, that including by poisoning a Ukrainian president. Moscow accused Washington of provoking color revolution in its former states, including Ukraine's own orange revelation which established a pro west president in early 2005 that was far from the end of the story however ukraine has remained embroiled in corruption russian intervention and the rise of oligarchs in business and politics in 2014 putin annexed the ukrainian peninsula of crimea and hurled Moscow's support behind the desperate groups of Russian speaking militia in the east of the country. Crimea is considered Crimea is considered by most of the world to be a region of Ukraine that's under hostile Russian occupation. Under cons Russian considers it is a legal and historical region of Russia that is assist to liberate in March. Geographically, it is a peninsula in the Black Sea with a location so important strategically that it has been fought over for centuries from Ukraine, Ukraine's 1991. Independence up through February 2014, it was a Ukrainian region that had special sovereignty and large Russian military bases, same as how the U.S. has bases in Japan and Germany. Importantly, Crimea spent a very long time before 1991 as part of the Soviet Union and the Russian Empire, and the most of its citizens are Russians themselves. In the late February, a few days after Ukraine's pro-Moscow president was overthrown from power, strange groups of gunmen began seizing government building in Crimea. Some Crimeans carried rallies to show support for the Austrian president and, in some cases, to call to seize from Ukraine and rejoin Russia. The groups of gunmen grew and rejoined Russia, uh, grew until it became apparent. They were Russian military forces who forcefully but bloodlessly brought the entire peninsula under military occupation. On March 16, Crimeans voted for the region to become a part of Russia. Most of the world sees Crimea's succession vote as illegal for a few reasons. It was held under Edward's Russian military occupation with no international monitoring and many reports of operation. It was pushed through, which, uh, through with only a couple of weeks verdicts and it was unlawful under Ukrainian law. Is still, legal or not, Crimea has become part of Russia. The US and European Union have employed economic sanctions on Russia to punish Moscow for this. But there is no sign that
Crimea will return to Ukraine. And the question arises here, which is our topic, main topic of this video, that what does Putin want from Ukraine? Russian President Vladimir Putin's declaration to attack Ukraine has sent relations between Moscow and West and the West spanning to their worst point since the Cold War. The invasion by missiles attacks and air strikes on Ukraine's capital Kyiv and other major, major cities and his most explicit attempt yet to redraw the global security map and restore Russia's sphere of influence to the days of the Soviet Union and Warsaw Pact. More than 30 years ago, it is a remarkable gamble for Mr. Putin who is now thinking what with the plethora, plethora of new sections from US and Europe aimed and at injuring his country's economy. The US has vowed a raft of new measures it views as equivalent with the Kremlin's aggression. But Mr. Putin has leverage to Russia. Leverage to Russia is Europe's major supplier of natural gas. Moreover, the question arises in our mind that why does Ukraine matter? For those who ask why does Ukraine matter, Ukraine is the sec second largest country in Europe by land volume and has a population of over 44 million. Ukraine is the first in Europe in proving recoverable reserves of the uranium ores second place in Europe and 10th place in the world in terms of titanium ore reserves. Ukraine is an industrialized and agriculture country. And the next question arises here in this video. How does the world is reacting towards Russia's attack on Ukraine? Russian President Vladimir Putin's special military of operation in Eastern Europe, uh, Ukraine has been largely condemned by various nations. The approval by Putin was made at the same time as the United Nations Security Council met late on Wednesday for its second emergency meeting this week to urge de-escalation and returns to diplomatic talks. President Joe Biden has condemned Russia for unprovoked and unjustified attack on Ukraine while vowing that his country and its allies will hold Russia accountable. President Putin has chosen a premediated war that will bring a catastrophic loss of life and human suffering Russia stone alone is responsible for the death and destruction. This attack will bring and the United States and its allies and partners will respond in a united and decisive way. The world will hold Russia accountable. He said German Chancellor Olaf Scholz condemned Russia's attack on Ukraine as a blatant breach of international law that cannot be justified by anything. Secretary General Antonia Guterres condemned Russia's actions telling Putin to bring your troops back to Russia. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that he was appalled by the horrifying events in the Ukraine and has spoken to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to discuss the next step. China rejecting calling Russia's moves on Ukraine an invasion and urged all sides to exercise restraint to, to conclude its necessity to stop the war. Russia's invasions of Ukraine could trigger w World War III. Good God forbid, if this could not stop, there will be a greater threat to severe consequences. Hundreds of thousands of people will die. 